Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, April 23rd, Sunday evening. Um, it was kind of a busy day. We did have service this morning, but after the service, I had was getting some work done on my house. So that took up a little bit of time. And my purpose for today's vlog was actually to give a little bit of background because I know I've already posted some videos, I've done some shorts and I just realized that I never really introduced myself. So, just to give a little bit of background on myself. Um, I started playing keys technically when I was 10. Um, I remember my mom brought me to like a professional teacher to go get like proper piano classes. And I remember going to one class and I enjoyed it. I actually liked the class and I learned a lot in that very introductory class. But I also remember that the week after that, we ended up going on vacation to Puerto Rico. And when we came back, my mom never brought me back to the classes, but I was 10, so I didn't really think about it, I just wanted to, you know, just have fun, play video games and go outside and climb trees and stuff. So, fast forward to high school, um, I get, I'm starting to get a little more involved in the church and I'm noticing a, something's missing, right, in the church. There's not a lot of, there, there wasn't really any musicians, there was just one guy playing the electric guitar all by himself completely improvising everything and I thought to myself like what could I do to make this better and then a light bulb goes off in my head hmm maybe I should pick up the keys again so I pick up the keys again because that was just the the instrument that I have I had some a little bit of you know knowledge about very little bit because obviously that was six years ago that I took that piano class and I didn't really remember a lot of it but when I was in high school that was the uh, that's when YouTube started to really get booming so I was like let me go on YouTube see what I can find out and honestly the rest was history I just picked up tips and tricks from different um, keyboardists along the way. Every time I would go out to like a different church to visit or to go worship with other people, I would just, you know, I'd observe, I'd ask questions. Um, I would go and then I would go on YouTube and just try to learn the basics of the fundamentals on YouTube and get that stuff down. It worked, it, it did work, but I don't think any of that would have worked if I didn't make it a priority to not only practice, but above all, pray. Prayer was truly the foundation of, of me progressing as a musician. And fast forward to, I wanna say, what, 2013, 14? That's when I started noticing another difference, another um, deficit, and it was, in the sound so I just applied the exact same thing I did with the keys to the sound and fast forward to now I am actually more inclined to like if in simple terms I'd rather be doing sound setting up sound running sound like being behind the mixer and um, all that jazz rather than play keys i love playing keys i would i could play keys all day every day if i could but i don't know what it is about 
running sound, it just, I, I find joy in that because there's like this thing about it where I'm in control of how everything is coming out of the speakers. You know what I mean? So everything that comes out of the speakers is my responsibility. And that's important because what's coming out of the speakers is what's coming out of the people. And what's coming out of the people is what's being directed by God. So that's a very important job that not a lot of people understand the importance of. They, a lot of people don't really realize that the sound in the church, the music in the church, the worship part of the church is a ministry. It truly is a ministry. I, I find so much joy in being able to sit back and just listen to what's coming out and knowing that I was able to have some take take some kind of part in what the people are listening to I'm not sure if I'm really explaining myself well but I think you guys got the gist of it another small little tidbit is that one of the one of the things that really helped me with becoming a better musician was listening to music just listening to music and trying to develop that ear for that that ear for for what the people on those records are trying to accomplish and then also it also helped me with developing my own sound how I want to differ myself from other musicians because there's a there's this thing that musicians it's, it's like a tendency that um, church musicians have that they want to sound exactly the way the record sounds they want it to sound exactly the way um, it had that they did on the recording when it doesn't have to be that way it's never you're never gonna do it exactly the way they do it there's always gonna be something that's different and that's not a bad thing um, church musicians need to learn that they have to find their own sound and that's that if and you can also take that spiritually because you shouldn't try to be like other people you have to have your own relationship with your music just like other people have their own relationship with their music just like you have your own relationship with god and they have their own relationship with god it's the same thing with your music with your instrument you should have your own sound because if you look at all these uh church musicians and all of these these artists they have like for example there's israel houghton who everyone has that everyone knows that he has a very specific sound a lot of ccm they the, the literally the whole genre of ccn ccm has its own type of sound just like the genre of gospel music has its own type of sound and even within those genres each artist has their own different type of sound you hear a song and you automatically know that might be that must be an Israel Houghton song or oh that must be an Elevation song or that must be Hillsong music but yeah that's that's a small background on myself on how I came to being in the position that I am as a musician or as a volunteer sound tech so yeah now back to the channel stuff today I did uh, record some of the uh, Sunday service you guys can let me know how it sounded because um, your believe it or not your comments will are gonna help me help you guys and help me bring better content to you guys so I've been trying for the past two weeks to figure out to try and use the the keyboard at the church with my Sunday sounds app on my iPad and reads it but it doesn't put any output out. So today, um, it doesn't output any sound. So today, what I wanted to do was bring my audio interface, which I have right here. I wanted to bring my Personas audio box because it has two out, two uh, left and right out, balanced outs, and they they sound very clear. It's very very good. I love this um, interface, and it's actually pretty inexpensive which is also a plus so I, I was I wanted to bring this to try it with the board and I forgot it so I did not use any software with my keyboard today with the church keyboard today 
So I was just playing straight hardware today, which I was pretty upset about because I really wanted to give, give um, show you guys that, and I couldn't. There was um, other circumstances that also messed up my plans today, but you guys know how it is. Sometimes you just got to roll with the punches. I am going to, so after I'm done here, once I shut up and stop talking, because you guys are probably annoyed already by my talking. So I do have some things, I do have a couple things coming down the pipeline that I'm going to be showing you guys soon. I got some reviews that I want to do. I got some, um, I got some pros and cons videos that I want to do that I'm going to get done for you guys, hopefully as soon as possible. We've got a lot of stuff going on, especially in May. May is very packed. Um, I do have a trip coming up I'm very excited for that I'm going to be taking you guys along with. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a little, it's a, it's a little nerve wracking because of something I am doing that I'm going to be, I'm pretty much going to be try, not trying it for the first time, but trying it for the first time on a bigger scale. And yeah, it should be fun. Hopefully everything comes out the way I want it to. You know, not everything always does. We all know that, like I mentioned before, you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. But yep, that trip's gonna be fun. You guys will know more about that as the time gets closer and closer. I think that's all I got for you guys. So remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, share with your friends like I mentioned in the other in the last video Maybe there's something on the video that somebody might that might help somebody out or they might hear something that'll Benefit them not only information wise, but spiritually as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning into the channel and God bless y'all
encouragement, please. Serious ones. Words of inspiration. Don't preach, but give me something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm blind. Fine. It's better to have something and not need it than need it and not have it. Words to live by. What do you think? For the words. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're the best. Mm -hmm.